Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is the 22nd May 2024. In this video, let us generate a bullish and bearish trade setups for uh, daily income trade and hourly income trade. They are nothing but short term income trades. And also at the end of the report, we will generate uh, stop buffers based on uh, daily ATR. Even before that, a small announcement, please. If this is your first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action. All the training lessons are available at our Neostock YouTube channel. So from our home page, click on this community tab. You will get access to this post. This post is having a link, a YouTube playlist link that will take you to all the training lessons. Just click on this link. I'm clicking on this link. Now we get into a playlist called Supply Demand Zone Price Action Course. In this playlist, you have all the training lessons. Just scroll down to the bottom of this page. Here starting from lesson 1.1, all the training videos are available in an order. Please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen your skills related to Supply Demand Zone Price Action. I have also provided the link to our Telegram channel in this YouTube video description. Please join in the channel. It will be helpful to you. Each time when we release a new YouTube video, we'll provide an update in the channel. Even any other important updates also we will provide in the channel. Now let's get into report generation with the help of Neo Stock Software Supply Demand Zone Top Down Analysis Strategy Builder. The first report we are going to generate bullish trade setup for a daily income trade. For daily income trade, entry time frame should be 15 minutes. Entry zone should be demand zone for bullish trade setup. And also in bullish or bearish trade setup parameter in 15 minutes time frame, that is entry time frame, we have to select the value bullish. Indicates we have to generate 15 minutes time frame, entry time frame, bullish trade setups. And also we need to set three additional filters. The first filter, our zone should not be pierced. So there is a parameter called a pierced count. In this uh, uh, 15 minutes time frame, that is entry time frame, you have to set minimum value zero, maximum value zero, which indicates the zone is not pierced. And the second parameter you need to set zone achievement as VOZ, violated opposing zone. And a minimum odd enhancer score should be 12 for bullish or bearish trade setup. And these three filters will be applied to our entry time frame 15 minutes and also entry zone demand zone. Not for the supply zone. Please remember this point. Now I am generating the report. 12 stocks are filtered. All these 12 stocks are supporting bullish trade setup for daily income trade. Now you can plan your trades from these zones. I'll be giving you only few seconds time to watch this report. So please pause the video and you can study the parameters. After that you can further proceed with the video. In case if you don't know how to understand this report structure, I request you complete our training lesson 21.1. That is part 1 of lesson 21. In that video, I have explained each and every column in detail, all their values, abbreviations, everything I explained, even in trading view, how to draw the zone by taking the timestamps from this column leg in and leg out also by including the base candle count. Okay, I'm going back and going to generate the next report bearish trade setup for daily income trade. So daily income trade entry time frame is 15 minutes, but bearish trade setup, the value should be changed to supply zone. Our entry zone should be supply zone in bearish trade setup. And also in bullish or bearish trade setup, in 15 minutes time frame, now we should change the value to bearish. And the three filters, whatever the three filters we already set earlier, we can use, we can reuse them. But this time the filters will be applied to 15 minute supply zone. Because we changed these values to supply zone, 15 minute supply zone. Now let us generate the report. Only two stocks are filtered. These two stocks are supporting bearish trade setup for daily income trade.
Now let us generate bullish and bearish trade setups for uh, hourly income trade. For hourly income trade, entry time frame should be 5 minutes. For bullish trade setup, we need to select uh, entry zone as a demand zone. And also in bullish or bearish trade setup parameter, this time in 5 minutes time frame, I am selecting the value bullish. And the three filters we need to set. The first filter PRs or zones, we need to set the PRs to count 0. So the PRs to count we have to set in 5 minutes time frame this time. Because this is the entry time frame. Minimum value we are setting as 0. And maximum value we are setting 0. That indicates zone should not be PRs and the PRs to count should be 0. And the second parameter zone achievement we are selecting a VOZ violated opposing zone. And minimum odd enhancer for bullish or bearish trade setup 12. So with these filters, these filters will be applied to 5 minutes demand zone. Now let us generate the report. So only 6 stocks are support filtered. They are supporting bullish trade setup for hourly income trade. Now let us select a bearish trade setup for hourly income trade. I am going back. Entry time frame should be 5 minutes. But for bearish trade setup, entry zone should be supply zone. And also in the parameter bullish bearish trade setup, at 5 minutes time frame, I am changing the value to bearish. And whatever the three filters you already set earlier, you can reuse them. But this time they will be applied to 5 minutes supply zone, the filters. Based on that, stock, stocks will be filtered. Now let us filter the stocks. Three stocks are filtered. These three stocks are supporting bearish trade setup for hourly income trade. So these are the bullish and bearish trade setup stocks. In the final report, let us generate stop buffers based on daily ATR. So I am generating the stop buffers. So here in this report here you have a daily ATR value and for daily income trade you have to use this 5% ATR and hourly income trade you have to use 3% ATR. And the first 17 in this list are indices, sectorial indices. Remaining all are equity stocks but we have taken them from a F and work category. So what I do, I keep on scrolling this list down. Each time when I scroll down I will be giving you few seconds time. Any of the stock you want to refer, you please pause the video and you can refer the stocks. So I am uh, going to scroll this list down. So this is the end of the report. Hope this information will be useful to you for your further study and analysis. Let us all meet again in our next video. Thank you.